message. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, junior manager here. Uh, so you're the new security guard, right? Yeah, it, it, it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know? <laughs> Uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know? Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway, I think you're gonna fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras. And the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate. But it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. And, uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during the night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk, too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here, but the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power-driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep, and have a good night.
message. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see? I told you you'd do just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention, uh, we, we have this little, um, uh, list of, uh, <clears throat> problems, uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Uh, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics do have a few minor glitches, uh, yeah. Uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get, uh, uh nervous if you hear anything. Let me see, um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, sometimes in the morning we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let's see, some of their sensors are a bit wonky. Uh, and, and, oh, and in case the animatronics is experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but it doesn't seem to mind it with the children. So it's, it's weird. If, if, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Uh, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really be functioning properly around adults. Uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It, it seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway. We replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's stored way in the back until he gets someone to fix him. Anyway, if I you, I keep the other ones at a distance and uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, have a good night.